Hey guys, happy Friday. Can you believe it's Friday? Yay. And it's September, my favorite month of the whole year. It is my birthday month. That's why. No, not really. Just because it's a change of the seasons. My birthday is at the end of the month and it's always when we get that first little breath of cool-ish. <laughs> Down here, I can't say really cool. Cool-ish weather. So it always gets me excited in September and it means the kids are back at school. So I love September. Yay. Okay. So I'm going to see if I am in the right place. Um, I'm going to ignore Pepper who is at my feet thinking that I need to give her some attention. <laughs> Maybe she'll go away. We'll see. Um, today we're going to do uh, three projects with a sparkle of the season bundle. You know, I don't know. I'm wondering how you guys feel about this bundle. Have you noticed it? Uh, it jumped out at me right away. It was one of my favorite things when I first saw the catalog. <laughs> Are you going to do this to me the whole time? Are you going to do this to me the whole time? Okay. Do you want me to pick you up? Come here. And you can say hello. See? Say hello. That's who mommy's talking to. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to all those people. All right. I think I'm going to have to give her a, a C-O-O-K-I-E. We'll see. All right. Go. Go lay down. Um, she's very demanding. <laughs> Anyhow, um, this, so this bundle I like. The, the wreath dies jumped out at me right away. And I think that this is a great, uh, set to accompany last year's arranger wreath. They're different. Um, I think they'll go together. If you have the arranger wreath from last year, I think this one is a really good one, um, to have with it. It has lots of accessories and the dies are fantastic. Um, little, there's a little bat, a little broom, a little pumpkin. So anyway, I loved it. It was one of my favorites and I hope you guys like it too. If you're wondering if you've just skipped over it, it's on page 58 of our holiday catalog. Okay. So we're going to get to stamping in a few minutes, but let's run through a few things. Um, how about first we have a new all-star, my fan is doing something weird. Let me move it. Um, we have a new all-star tutorial bundle for September and it features the You're a Peach Suite. And if you look through here, there are 12 projects all featuring the You're a Peach Suite. They're all video tutorials. Um, the PDF has each project has the supplies listed and the measurements and then a link where you click and go to the video. All designed by 12 different demonstrators uh, around the world, uh, Australia, Europe, United States, it's crazy. So, so that means also that all the projects are listed in both metric and imperial measurements. So wherever you are, whatever you use, it'll be um, applicable to you. So these mugs I feel like are a little extra. They're really, really good. Not that they're not always good, but this month just wow. I, I just think everybody went above and beyond this month. Uh, my project is a little uh, crate, a little like a peach crate and uh, has some of those peach candies in it. Mine, I try to always do a 3D project for my 3D people out there because most of the other tutorials are cards. Um, so you get this for free if you spend $50 with me in September. Um, you can also get it for free, and I'm not free, <laughs> you can get it in my PDF store for $15, um, which I think is a steal for all of these tutorials. Um, if you are interested in that, I will add the link here on Facebook when, um, I'm done. I go back and add the links, but there's also a tab at the top of my blog that says uh, PDF store. So you can find it there. I am not seeing comments, but I see them over here. Oh, Nadine, you have the day off. Good. Uh, it's a long weekend here. Hopefully you guys all have a long weekend. My oldest is on her way home right now from college. So we're very excited to see her. Um, and we plan on spending the whole weekend at the lake. One last hurrah at the lake. Well, maybe not the last one because it stays super hot here through at least late October. But, you know, one, of, one last official summer weekend. Okay. Um, um, Club Create. I forgot what it was called all of a sudden. Club Create is my monthly subscri subscription program. Um, every month you get a kit in the mail for me. It has about $20 in brand new product, has five projects, um, and it's $39 a month. It comes with a PDF and a video. Um, you 
Uh, let's see what else. You get to get add on a $25 product credit of your choice if you stay six months. You can join and drop at any time. There's no commitment. This month, September, the kit is the Harvest Meadow. Harvest Meadow. I have it over here because I, I pulled all of these um, bundles because I want to go. I wanted to show you guys one more time. Well, not one more time. I want to show you again the free bundles. But here it is, Nature's Harvest. The dies, again, fantastic. Um, the stamps, of course, are great too. But this is this month, September's. The deadline to subscribe for September is September 7th. Um, so if you want this, there's just a few more days. What is that, Tuesday? I think that's Tuesday. So if you want uh, this month's <coughs> um, Club Create Kit, make sure you have subscribed by September 7th. Um, the PDF only, if you want just the PDF with the videos, that is already in my PDF store for $15 as well, okay? So there's that. That'll be the last time I show you that one. This week, I have spent the whole week designing classes and clubs for the next couple of months and Facebook Fridays. I'm way ahead, so I'm very excited. Uh, it's amazing what you can get done when nobody's home <laughs> for five days in a row. It's amazing. Um, you know, my kids leave like 7.30 and they don't come home to like five. That is a lot of hours to get a lot done. I forget how awesome that is. So I've been getting a ton done. But anyhow, next, uh, October Club Create is going to feature, it's called Sweet Little Stockings, and it's the, the little pets, the Christmas pets, the Corgi, you know, the uh, Golden Retriever. So don't sign up yet if you want just this kit. This subscription period starts September 8th, okay? September 8th. So that's coming. Um, I want to give you a little sneak peek, and I wanted my Club Create members to know, too, what's coming um, in case you do or you don't want it. I always try to let you know so that you're not surprised when you don't want to be surprised, right? We want to know what's coming. So that is that. Um, my Halloween class. Super excited about my Halloween class. Halloween treats are one of my favorite things. Halloween treats and Valentine treats. Those are like my two favorite things to do all year. So my Halloween treats class is always really popular. I get super excited um, to create it. It actually features this stamp set and this bundle. You will need these for this class. You can get them with the class, um, but if you already own it, you can just get the class kit. Um, all the kits will have six make and take projects. They'll have a, a full pack of paper, a full bolt of ribbon, and a full pack of the star adhesive sequins so that um you know you're gonna get six kit six projects in the kit but then you'll have supplies to make a ton more um also i am using these awesome dies now if you get the class kit from me i will have already cut these things for you um, but i'm offering the option to add them onto the class because i think they're so good and if you love halloween like me these are a must and even this one i love it so much so Look for that. Um, that registration is open and my little sticky note is gone. Let's see if I can remember. The 21st, I think is the deadline, September 21st. There are four options with the bundle, without the bundle, PDF only. It's already in my PDF store and my downline. They get the kit at a significant discount, 20 bucks. So if you are interested in that, um, make sure you the information is on the pdf today you can click the link on the pdf right here to get the information i can't list the the link directly to register register for the class um, online or on social media because that's against stampin up policy you have to actually send me an email say please send me a link and then i send it to you if you are on my email list i already sent the link to you it went to everybody earlier in the week, I think on Tuesday. So scroll back through, look in your spam. If you think you're on my mailing list and you didn't get it, look on my look in your spam folder because a lot of my emails end up in spam. So anyhow, Halloween treats. Yay, I'm so excited that we are finally at this point of the year. 2021 hasn't been all that we thought it was gonna be. <laughs> we are rounding the corner and fingers crossed for 2022, right? Oh, I got a couple cute cards this week. Um, okay, I'll show you this one first. I don't think I've shown you this one. 
from Sharon. Look at this gorgeous card. Sharon, that's gorgeous. You did really nice work with the ink and all of that. Like, wow, frameable. Thank you, Sharon. Beautiful card. And then this one that made me laugh. Um, this is from Karen. And first, her card is adorable too. Do you recognize that? Those are the peaches. Look at that. To, to me, they look like either apples or cherries, right? How cute. Never entered my mind to use the peaches like that, but it totally works. Karen, adorable. And my buffalo check too. But inside it, Karen said, I'm going to help you out and end the debate. Here is peach parfait, peekaboo peach, and pale papaya. <laughs> so now I have a reference sheet, right? See, you know, they all are double P's. How are we supposed to keep that straight? Surely it's not me who, who calls pale papaya peekaboo peach every single time. Karen, I'm going to put this up on my... <laughs> <laughs> on my wall so I remember thank you it's hilarious it made me laugh and I appreciate it okay um, I'm gonna flip you guys around because I want to talk about celebration a little bit before without stamping. and plus I can't see your comments on the phone and it's annoying me so I need to do this a little bit different I have a new phone case and my phone fits so much better in this little stand there we go Okay, so celebration. We are halfway through celebration. Summer celebration, celebration part two, whatever you want to call it. We're halfway through. We have one month left to get the things that you want in here. And so far, nothing has sold out. Now, I noticed this paper was on back order, so I don't know what that means. I guess maybe it's just going to go on back order. Um, I was informed that I was incorrect that the only things that are not guaranteed are the, what I call the mermaid paper and the two sets of dies. Um, but luckily they haven't sold out as of the last time I checked, which, which was last night. Um, so during celebration, every $50 you spend, you get something free um, in here. If you get to $100, there's also a couple of things that you can get um, for $100 or you can get two things for $50 and it's cumulative. So if you spent, you know, $500 then you're going to get 10 items. All right. So that goes through September 30th. Um, the flip side of that is the starter kit special. Hold on. Let me move all this stuff out of the way. The starter kit special during celebration is always extra, right? There's always something amazing and extra. So this year or this time, this, you know, usually celebration is only one time a year. So I never know what to say. Is it this second? So whatever. Anyway, this August, September, that's what I'll say. This August, September celebration, the starter kit is $99. Anything you want, free shipping. You get to pick out $125 in product, anything you want, plus one of these bundles for free. And um, I have this linked, I will link it again today on our, here in the description. There's a variety of things that you can choose from. They're all from the holiday catalog and some are much more expensive than others. So I would say if you're gonna buy the starter kit and you're gonna add a bundle, go for the one that's more expensive. I mean, right? We all think like that, surely, right? Um, so that would be Christmas to remember, Christmas season, peaceful cabin. Those are the pricier ones. Whimsical trees. Um, really good choices. I think if I was buying the starter kit right now, I'd have a really hard time deciding which one I'd want. Frosted gingerbread. I mean, how stinking cute. Christmas season, which I am obsessed with these dyes. Can't stop using them. I haven't used the stamp set yet, I don't think. Yeah, I haven't used the stamp set yet. It's really good. It reminds me of some celebration paper we had a while back. Um, Christmas to Remember, which is sentiments with these. I hope I'm getting these right. You know, I, but, I butcher this every time. Make sure I got the right ones because they, they all sound the same. Christmas to Remember, yep. Okay, those are those. I haven't used these yet, but that's really cool. That's a really cool die. Um, whimsical trees, which I just finished up club create November y'all. I'm so far ahead. Club create November is going to feature whimsical trees and it's adorable. Um, that's one of your choices. The peaceful deer with a punch. 
Sweet Little Stockings, which is those projects I just showed you over there. This is one of the bundles you can get for free. This tag right here is awesome. Awesome, I love it. Um, and then, of course, super cute, Penguin Place, which we're using today. Um, well, actually, we're not using the stamp. We're using the punch. Um, it comes with a punch. Peaceful Cabin. Um, Arctic Bears. I like this one. Arctic Bears. Okay. Uh, Beauty of Tomorrow. Man, there's so many to choose from. Look, remember we used this last week, week before last, two weeks ago. We used this die. And it's a really fun stamp set. Um, gorgeous Leaves, which I I love because I love when we have texture stamps like that. And the dies, I like when we have dies too that you don't need to stamp an image. You know, you can just cut it out in the branch. A branch is always useful. And then this one I showed you, Nature's Harvest. So you choose one of those for free on top of the $125 in product you choose in your starter kit. And then you get to be part of my team, the Sweet Stampede. You get... Um, a discount on all your Stampin' Up! orders. You get my PDFs for free. You get my classes at a discount. You get early access to the spring catalog and the next celebration catalog. Um, you get to participate in demonstrator events, um, be part of a demonstrator Facebook group. There's lots of really cool things. So if you're interested in the starter kit, please let me know. We have added a bunch and I haven't counted it up. I would say about, I don't know, I can't even guess, 30-ish to the Sweet Stampede here in or last month in August. Um, you can join my team if you want a business to make, if you want to make this a business. You can also join my, my team if you don't want to make this a business. I don't care either way. We are welcoming to everybody who buys the starter kit, okay? Okay, I will have the link to all of this when I update the links here on Facebook. Whoops. Boy, I've got all the dogs in here today. By the way, they got skunked again this week. <sighs> I tell you, there is nothing worse than that. Congratulations to Glinda Metzger and Beth Shook. I have both your mailing addresses because you both participated in last week's BOGO. Thank you, ladies. I will get these out to you. Um, they won because they were randomly selected from everyone who shared my video from two weeks ago. Um, and so I have two awesome background stamps I'm giving away this week, Knit Together, um, which we will be using, I think, next week. Um, if you would like a chance to win one of these, all you have to do is share on Facebook. Make sure you put in the comments that you shared so I know who has shared. Because I can't always see. I can sometimes see who shared and sometimes I can't. All right, we are down to the bottom. We made it. Um... I know you guys have been making comments and I haven't been watching. All right. Facebook Friday. This is this is how this goes. All right. Um, I pick a bundle or a stamp set, typically, and I design three projects with it. And then I will send you the make and takes for those three projects for free next week if you order between now and Monday at midnight. Um, this is kind of like a class, like you would come to my class and I would say, the class is free if you put in an order. That's exactly what this is. These projects will be sent to you for free. Yes, for free. If you put in an order, minimum $35 by Monday at midnight. Now it's a Labor Day weekend, so don't forget. Don't save it to, you know, you're having too much fun in the sun and then you forgot. If you want these, make sure you get it in. Um, here's the host code. It's also here on the PDF. The PDF is over at pinkbuckroo.com under the last photo. The make and takes, they come to you looking like this. For this week's projects, you will need all the inks. You will need the stamp set and the dies. Okay, I don't die cut anything that is included in this bundle. I will die cut other things for you, like circles or whatever, but if it's in the bundle, like the little broom we're gonna use, I'm not gonna cut that for you. I'm gonna send you the paper so you can cut it with your bundle. Um, but they come like this, I make you a cute little tag, I send it to you in the mail, and uh, it's fun. I get so much great feedback from these. You guys are so sweet. I love doing these. Um, it's kind of like teaching where I, this is my lesson plan. <laughs> I write a lesson plan and then I give you guys your assignment. 
I, I don't know. I just, it's, it's fun and I enjoy it. And I'm glad you guys like it too. Okay. I think we are ready to move on. On this PDF, has anybody checked? I think it's up. I was super ahead this week. It was up yesterday. I was scheduled. I don't know. It's very nice to have a week where I can really get everything done on time. But the PDF, obviously, totally free. It has the supply list, the measurements, and the three things that we talked about, Club Create, Halloween Treats, and the All-Star Tutorial. If you want to find more information, you can click on those links within the PDF, and it will take you to my blog post, okay? All right, yeah, Carla, for sure. Once a teacher, always a teacher. Isn't that the truth? Even when I'm walking through the grocery store and kids are misbehaving, <laughs> I want to say, hey, cut it out. I have to rein that in. All right, so this stamp set is really great for a variety of seasons. I love stamp sets that are, you know, maybe not necessarily specific to one holiday only. It has Thankful for You, which could be any time of the year. Um, Happy Halloween, Grateful, again, any time of the year. May the sparkle of the season warm your heart and home. I love that. And Merry Christmas. So you can do a fall wreath, a winter wreath, a spring wreath, a summer, whatever you want to do. And then there's this really cool swirly thing here too. And all the little, just all the little things that go with it. But because I told you I love fall, of course, we're going to make a fall wreath first. And we're going to use my gingham, my favorite gingham paper, okay? All right, let me get everything out. Um, I made clean recordings of all of these projects. So if you come back to make these later, um, you will find the individual video links there on uh, my blog today under each photo, okay? That way if you come back, you don't have to go through an hour and 20 minutes of a Facebook Live trying to find that one part. They'll, they're just like little 10 minute videos. All right, so we're gonna do a lot of things with a cut and emboss machine. So I'm gonna get us set up for that. The first thing I'm gonna do is stamp these two stems. Thanks, Denise. I love anything that is fall. So, <laughs> you know, it's like, oh, I love the colors. Yay, it's fall. I ran to TJ Maxx today. Um, TJ Maxx slash Home Goods. Do you guys have that? It is my favorite store. Um, my daughter, you know, left for college. And so her room is all clean. And, um, her, <laughs> okay. So my husband snores and now I have a place to, to go <laughs> when he's snoring, which I love. But I realized when I went to sleep in her bed, like sister needs an upgrade. So I went to TJ Maxx today and I bought her all new bedding. So when she comes home, she's gonna be excited. Anyway, my point of that story was I went to TJ Maxx today. I actually went to two TJ Maxx's this morning and they have fall and Halloween out. And oh my gosh, it made me very excited. Very, I bought three things for fall slash Halloween. Three gnomes. I like the little gnomes. Okay, I stamped the two stems in Bumblebee. Bumblebee is a great fall color. Now we're going to cut the wreaths out of Craft. Craft is one of our new kind of specialty papers. It's like a cardboard box. That's what I that's how I describe it. This is crumb cake. We've had crumb cake for a thousand years. This is craft. So can you guys see the difference? Um, craft is more, you know, rough, earthy, um, just like cardboard, except it's as thin as paper. So we're gonna use that and we're gonna use the early espresso. And the easiest thing to do here with these wreaths are to put our adhesive sheet on the back that way they turn into stickers. You can use your liquid adhesive. If you are a liquid adhesive expert, go for it. I, liquid ad adhesive, Tombow and I have become friends. I do like it. I still make a mess. So with things like this, um, that I have to be really like steady, I just, I wanna use my adhesive sheets because then I know I'm not gonna make a mess. So you stick it on and you peel off that top and so now the back of it is a sticker. So we're going to, where are my dies? We are going to, by the way, lots of little dies here. So I better, you know what? I better get my, my magnet plate out. I'm gonna put it right there, okay? Because y'all know I'm gonna lose some dies. Um, all right, so this one has leaves. We're gonna do that in the early espresso. And then this one has more, I don't know, it looks more like, um, 
oh, greenery, you know, I'm, what am I, what's the word I'm trying to think of? You know, Christmas, the greenery, stems, not stems. I can't think of the word. Anyway, that's going to be on the craft. All right, and then we've got a die for that. We are also going to emboss with, where did it go? It was here, right here. It's on my cut and emboss. This is the timber embossing folder. It's like a wood grain, which is really great. Um, also, I want you guys to notice on the Stampin' Up! embossing folders, they put this line here, which really helps you to get your paper in there straight. I mean, nothing is more annoying than bringing your embossing folder out and your paper is like crooked and the lines are going crooked. I hate that. So I love that our embossing folders have that little, little added feature. Okay, let me bring the cut and emboss machine over. For the embossing folders, you take off the top three plates, okay? So you're just gonna have plate one. This is for the 3D embossing folders. And you put it down here and I'm not even gonna tell you which way to put the hinge because I have been told both ways from official Stampin' Up! people. Hinge out, hinge in, I don't know. You do, you do you, and I don't know what the official word is. <laughs> I think it's out, I don't know. Maybe it's in, I don't know. But I have never had a problem either way. So I'm not going to give you, I'm not going to give you advice on which way to put your hinge because Truly, I've had Stampin' Up! official people tell me two different things. All right, so now we're gonna put number two, plate back, number three, clear plate, and we'll put these guys up here. And my, um, I need to get some new plates. My plates are pretty warped. I've had a lot of problems this week with my die slipping. So I'm gonna just use my, my post-it tape. Okay, all right, put all that in. Now these guys have a lot of little cutting edges, right? Anytime you have all those little, all those little things that are gonna be cut out, all the little doodads that I call them, um, I recommend going back and forth, you know, make two, maybe three times. And then you can flip it over and see if it cut all the way through, which it did. Plus we made this thicker by putting that adhesive sheet on there. So, you know, run it through a couple times. If it's still not cutting, because my old Big Shot got really like loosey-goosey and it, and it wasn't very tight. I was having to use shims and stuff. If you're having that problem, put them on there and flip it over and run it through like that. Um, for some reason, that makes a big difference. All right, so we've got one stem cut out. Let's get the other stem. Um, what does it say? Teresa says the plate itself says to put the hinge side in first. See, that just seems wrong to me. But I think you're right because it seems wrong. <laughs> I think I remember. I don't even ask anymore. I'm like, whatever. I'm just going to do it however I want to do it. And I've never had a problem. Put the hinge up. Put the hinge down. Put the hinge in. Put the hinge out. It's like the hokey pokey. Just do whatever you want. Or follow the directions and read the plate and do what it says. But I'm not going to tell you what to do. All right, let's move that out of the way. And now let me show you guys what I did with this. This is that paper. Um, the um, What am I looking for? What are the words I'm looking for? The par pattern party designer series paper that you can get as one of your picks with your Stampin' Rewards when your order is over $150. And I love, there's, it's a huge 12 by 12 pad of paper. Awesome prints. Colors on one side, black and whites on the other. So of course it has this gingham in it and I am obsessed with it, I love it. But for this card, I wanted it to be more like a, you know, like a neutral, like woodsy, kind of like the card. So I'm taking my blending brush and using my crumb cake ink to make it black and tan instead of black and white. Um, I actually have a chair in my living room. Oh, I just stuck my finger in that ink. I have a chair recliner in my living room that is black and tan gingham or buffalo check because it's the big ones. 
and it is so good because it doesn't show dirt. The white, I wanted it to be black and white. And my mom said, you're crazy. You have three kids and a bunch of dogs. So she was right. And we found this awesome, we had it recovered. It's a chair I've had recovered several times. And we um, found this awesome fabric and it's been really good. So anyway, <laughs> just a side story, but it looks just like that. All right, I think we're ready to put all of this together. We're gonna put this down here across. See that yellow on the back side? That's cute too. Okay, so put that across. And let's get our wreaths out of here. You know what, I haven't done my embossing yet. I need to do that too, my um, sentiment embossing. All right, so be really careful when you pop this out because it's very delicate. Looks like I didn't have that all the way on there. Okay. And then this one. And you know, I'm just gonna pull this one off the adhesive in here and it's gonna come off and it's gonna leave all those little doodads on that paper. Look at that. Oh, yay. Okay, so I'm gonna stick this down right about here. Look at that. Awesome. Let's do the same thing here with this one. I should have done it instead of popping it out. Let's just pull it off the adhesive carefully. Very carefully. I love this stuff. Sometimes I worry, can I, is there, are there too many little doodads in here to use adhesive sheets? Because sometimes they can become all, you know, they, all the little things get stuck together. It's hard to get them out. I can't remember. There was one that I used that it was like that. But yesterday, you know, our pumpkin dies, there's a pumpkin die in there that's real intricate. And I used adhesive sheet and it worked beautifully. So you can, you can. All right, let's do the embossing before we go any further. I have a strip. Hi, Kimberly, glad you're here. I have a strip of early espresso. I'm gonna stamp grateful in Versamark. Let's see if I can get it straight without sticking my head in the camera. Mm. Mm. Let's try again. It's kind of high. Okay, I'm gonna pull it down towards me so I can see it. There we go. Oh, I don't know, is that? All right, well, we're going with it. I think I like the first one better, but I don't know now that I've rubbed it on the table. We're gonna emboss with copper, copper embossing powder. Okay, and you can kind of tap it. Well, let's put a little bit more. Maybe I tapped it too much. Make sure there's no little granules hanging around where they don't need to be. And then you can just, if you put this on a piece of like copy paper, you can just funnel it right on in. I don't have a, I have little Tupperware things from, for the colors I use all the time, but not that one. I don't use that color very often. All right, heat tool. Takes about, I don't know, 10, 15 seconds for the heat tool to get to the right temperature. Hi, Dot, hi, Karen. Hi, Donna. Good to see you guys. And it turns beautiful. Isn't that gorgeous? It's like magic. I'm getting my fingers a little bit too close, though. There we go. All right, so I'm just going to take this. It is a little crooked, but we're going to pretend like it's not. And I'm going to cut that at an angle. Now let's come back over here, grab those dimensionals. We've got post-it not notes stuck to the dimensionals. Wow, they're really stuck. That's my shim for when I am <laughs> making boxes. All right, that one's gonna go up and that one's gonna go down. And this guy is gonna go right in the middle Let's see, what did I do? I tucked it under. Like that. Okay, and then our linen thread. 
And I like the linen thread on these spools. We used to get them on cards, but now they're on spools and they're like curly. They're so fun. If you don't like the curly, you can actually get a little flat iron that you would use on your hair. I have one in here that I bought just for in here and it will straighten all these out. And it's like a travel um, flat iron. <laughs> the girl, I, when I was a teacher, the girl across the hall kept one of those in her classroom. And I remember seeing her in there before school started. Flat iron her hair with that tiny little flat iron. But anyway, it works perfectly for this. And I think, I wanna say it was like $10. Just a little flat iron. All right, now let's get a few of these brushed metallic dots and put a few around, just around. Yeah, let's, let's balance it out. All right, last but not least, we are gonna put it on a um, crumb cake card base. This piece was four by five and a fourth. That's pretty standard. That's a um, quarter inch uh, smaller all the way around than your card base. I do that size a lot and three and three fourths by five. It makes it a little bit more of a border, but there you have it. A nice fall card for you to send this month. If you are up north, I bet you guys have nice weather already, but here we have to fake it. <laughs> September and October. We have to pretend that it's fall because it's not really fall it's not really fall until like december <laughs> all right let's move on i my the next project's my favorite today it's halloween let me grab it hold on all right halloween and this was the idea i had immediately when i saw the stamp set it is a little witch card. I was thinking a witch's window. It's got the little broom. So what I've used are the, they're called flower box window dies. They're in the annual catalog. I've had them for a long time and I've never used them. So I was excited to, to think of this and to pull these out and to use them. Okay, so let's see. We're going to do a lot of cutting again. Um, and I'm going to cut the wreath. Where did I put the dies? Right here. This is my favorite wreath here in the little dies. It has the stars on it. I'm going to cut that from the black sparkle. I'm not going to put adhesive sheet on it this time because it's kind of overlapping the windows. And I don't know. I just feel like it would be better if I put adhesive just on the points that are touching the window. Okay. So that is our black sparkle black sparkle, black glitter, our black glitter specialty paper. Um, then let's see what else. Okay, here we're bringing back the craft paper again, and we're going to cut out the shutters, which also embossed. It's got that wood grain in it, and the window, which also embossed. You know, I just thought about this. This little die is like the, the thing that goes under the window. I should have put that, and then put the you could put the pumpkin and like maybe a spider or something. That would be cute. I didn't think of that. I didn't think of it. All right, and then let's go back over here and get, Mary, you don't use your window dies either. They're so unique and I want to use them. Um, I have another idea for them recently and then I just never did it. That's the broom, Highland Heather, and the pumpkin, of course, pumpkin pie. Okay, and then we are going to um, emboss the card front with the brick and mortar embossing folder again we'll line it up right there okay but since we have our die cutting plates on here let's do that first let me slide this thing back over and i believe we can get everything on here ah. um <laughs> I, I meant to show you guys before i turn the camera around i went to target this week with my daughter and when I go to Target with my daughter we end up spending you guys know how this goes way more than if she had not gone with me she loves junk food and I have a hard time saying no because I like junk food too <laughs> 
But we came home with like five Halloween things. And, and I was saying, they're for projects. And she said, man, I'm so glad. I love your job <laughs> because she gets to eat what I don't use. So she was helping me pick out, there were some pumpkin Twinkies and all kinds of things that will be coming soon. And then she was in here last night. I said, hey, I haven't used those yet. Don't you eat all of them. My middle child, she and I love sugar. My youngest loves sugar too, but she especially. All right, we're gonna get all these little guys out of here. All right, and then let's put the dies back where they go. Um, let's emboss this one. So again, we'll take this out. We'll put, what did it say? Hinge, it said hinge in. Well, too bad, I'm not doing that. I'm putting hinge up because I have my card sticking out. I'm a rule breaker. Not really, <laughs> I'm really not. But today I'm gonna be a rebel and I'm putting my hinge up. Let's see. <gasps> it worked. Ta-da. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. I was going to say it's been a long week, but it hasn't. It's been a great week. All the peace and quiet, all the crafting, all the stamping. <sighs> all right, so we've got that. Now, one thing we're going to do, let's get this little window frame right here. Um, I want witches or uh, bats flying around the back of the window. So I'm going to take the bats and I'm going to stamp them here all in the middle I don't know where I'm gonna need them all so I'm just doing a bunch that's way more than I need but whatever now I'm gonna take this and my glue it's gone where did it go hmm all right well I have to get my other glue hold on it's not that far. It's just right here. I, have a, I just opened a new one, and neither of these are the new one. Here it is. Okay. Do y'all do that? I have like three bottles in there. Two are almost empty, and one's new. Why don't I just throw them away? Why not? Why don't I not do that? And of course, oh, it's going to give me issue. If you're new, buddy. You're not supposed to be doing that. You're supposed to be like fresh and... Let's see, did I get it? Oh yeah, I did, a big giant blob. Good, I'm glad you guys can't see that. That's why we don't do that onto our, our piece. Look, too much glue. I'm gonna stamp that down, get some of that glue off. He was ready to give me some glue. I'm gonna wipe a little bit of that off over there. Okay, now, this is um, basic gray. I don't know if I said that. So I'm gonna put that down. Look, ah, got the glue. I'll never learn. All right, I'm gonna set that down and let it dry. Um, over here, we've got this um, little sparkle wreath. So cute. And we've got our pumpkin. Bless you, Pepper. We've got our little shutters. I'm cleaning, I'm stalling to let that dry. I'm stalling just a little bit. We'll clean up. And then we will also stamp the Happy Halloween. Right, oh, that's the stamp I used to hold that down. All right, Happy Halloween. Let's see if I can get it straight. I did it. You know what, I never turned the fan off today. I guess it's on low, so it's not shaking the camera. All right, I'm just gonna chop it. Okay, and, oh, Dot Fall is here, 67. Oh, you're killing me. Today, you know, I always complain to you guys about how hot it is here. This summer, we have not reached 100 one time, not one time. I can't remember, I mean, there's been summers like that, apparently, according to the weatherman, but I don't ever remember a summer like that. Um, it's been a really nice summer, but here in the last couple of weeks, it has been really hot. And they said today we might reach a hundred. We might, and it's supposed to be hot all weekend too. 
67 sounds like heaven. All right, so I'm cutting just around the outside of this. Hey, were any of you um, affected by that terrible flooding up north yesterday? Or by the hurricane in Louisiana? It almost seems, well, no, there are some places in Louisiana that were demolished. But it almost seems like there was more destruction up north than down south. But, I, I mean, I don't mean to take away because I know that Louisiana suffered too. That was some crazy. I have a downline. I don't know if she's even on here. She lives in... New York City, um, up in that area, and I was really worried about her yesterday. Did you guys see that coverage on the news? Crazy flooding. People were drowning in their apartments. How does that happen? <sighs> All right, I didn't mean to be a downer. Okay, now, these shutters, you have to think, and I always have to think about it. They would be closed like this, so that means they would be open like that, okay? Okay. Yesterday, I initially put them like that, and then I was like, wait, wait, that's not right. Four inches of rain in Maryland. That is a lot. Oh, Patty just hit 100 thirds for the first time. Isn't it weird? And then places up in the Northwest were having record heat. God, it's been a weird year, plus all that crazy winter weather we had. I don't know if it's La Nina or El Nino or whatever. It's just a super weird year. All right, so put those on either side. Did I get that centered? I did not. Okay, hold on, let's try that again. Let's see if I can just move that over and move that over. For some reason today, I'm having a hard time seeing without really getting my head down under the camera, which I don't wanna do. Okay, now we can move this one back over. Little bit more, little bit more. Come on, come on, right there. Okay, now get your glue and I'm gonna just put glue on that star and that star. Okay, let's see. That star, oh, that was a lot. And that star and maybe the one up top. We'll do this one too, just a little bit. All right, now I'm gonna put that and that right there, okay? I'm gonna hold it for a sec. Let's put that on that while I get the other thing going. Hold that down. Now for our little strip, our, our happy Halloween strip. By the way, so, why would you send a Halloween card? A lot of you have told me that you love to send Halloween cards to your grandkids, to your own kids, to your family, whatever. But some people are like, I don't send Halloween cards. Why would I make Halloween cards? What I like to do, because I want to use my Halloween stamps because I love it. I don't send Halloween cards either. But I do send thank you cards and birthday cards and thinking of you. So use your fun Halloween cards during September, October, just, you know, for something different, for fun. I mean, it, I could, it could say Happy Halloween on the front, and then I say thank you on the inside. It doesn't have to say thank you on the outside. That's just my thoughts on Halloween cards. I don't really send Halloween cards, Easter cards. I know some of you are great about that, but I am not. But I will use them for things like birthday and, you know, other reasons. That feels like it's too far off. Let's put that up a little, maybe, hmm, maybe like that. No, maybe that needs to move over. Let's get it, gotta get it right. Gotta get it right. There we go, I like that better. Okay, now let's bring in the black and white trim. Susan, you love sending Halloween cards. I think Halloween cards are such a fun thing to get in the mail. Because, you know, we all get Christmas cards at Christmas. But do you get a Halloween card very often? Probably not. And to get that and open it, I mean, how fun. And then if you have kids or grandkids, you know that they would love it too. When my mom didn't live here, she used to send little goodies to my kids on Halloween for Halloween. And uh, that was just fun. 
You know, just something different. Just kind of make things exciting. Okay, now we got a little bit crazy with the length of those legs. So let's trim them off, get that off. And we're not quite done. We've got to use these adorable little stars. Let's see if this will work. Um, these are stickers. Hallelujah for stickers. And any of the colors will work, but I think I will use the orange today. Just a few. Oh, I feel like I want to put more, but I'm not going to. <laughs> Don't go too far, Erica. And there you go. How fun. A little witch's window. Do you guys like it? You know, when I was trying, I had this idea. I, I searched on Pinterest. Witch's house. And there were some cute things that came up, just images, so I could kind of get an idea for what it needed to look like. And I don't even remember what I saw, but I know that that's what inspired the juices to start flowing. Okay, good. I'm glad you guys like it. Um, Cindy it says, I send one card, send one card every day of October to my adult daughter. Oh my gosh, Cindy, that's awesome. Yes, Christine, you're right. We don't get, as adults, we don't get the same candy. So you like to treat the other adults. That's so cute friend of mine has a birthday on Halloween. Oh, Carla, how fun. You guys, see, you're fun. Y'all are good about sending cards. I know that on a personal basis. All right, we've got one more. Oh, I'm going to get done in, a, in a, about an hour this time. This week's projects were pretty simple. Next week, we're going to do the squirrel. Nets about squirrels. It is super cute stamp set. Um, and I found something to make a 3D project and I'm making a box that we've never made before. Um, and those squirrels are adorable. So make sure that you set your reminder for next week. All right, so here's a card I don't want you to see yet. You've probably already seen it now. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna show you at the end. Here is what we're going to make. Let me get a drink real quick. Hold on. Okay. So I love this sentiment. May the sparkle of the season warm your heart and home. And I thought and I thought and I thought and I thought. And I looked on Amazon. What is sparkly that you could eat? Well, not really anything, right? So then I thought about like what sparkles in your mouth how about some mints, right? They're like, you know, kind of sparkly, kind of tingly. So I got these. I thought they were good for, for winter, peppermint, the little penguin. And that's what I went with. I've not seen these icebreak. I, we love icebreakers here at my house. I always have some in my purse. Um, I haven't seen them in this cool oval shape. Usually they're in a circle. So I was always, I'm always excited to make a new box for a new shape. So Amazon. I got the six pack here. I linked it under today's project if you are wanting to get some. Okay. And we're using celebration paper, celebration paper, and the penguin punch, of course. Let's make the box first. Let me get all of the things, all of the things over here. Misty Moonlight is the color. And where's my my uh simply scored here we go let's look at my notes oh sandy you're so late that's okay it's recorded oh pictures are those are your favorite mints yeah see blue snowflakes i don't know i just felt like it all went together okay here right here here are the measurements okay so don't write them all down just go get that pdf print it do whatever save it you know six by seven and a half so on the long side, we're going to do half an inch, three inches, four inches, and six and a half. And then turn it and do half an inch, one and a half, and five. Now before I take it off, I want to kind of orient, orient you to what is what. Because I'm going to start cutting a whole bunch of things. This, it's long, right? So the mints go in like this. So this, this right here is the lid. This is the bottom of the box, okay? Along the short side, lid side, bottom side. 
Now, I'm gonna get my bone folder, burnish all those lines. While I'm doing this, I will tell you about the skunks. Yesterday morning, when I woke up, I had an alert on my phone that the ring camera was, a, was you know, came on in the middle of the night. So I looked and there were some raccoons running around in our front yard, which I've never seen before. So I, you know, we all, I showed my husband, my kids, look, raccoons, blah, 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 whatever. So then the dogs go outside and they start barking, barking, barking and at the shed, which is where the skunks were last time. And I said, Ted, do you think that's, that's the raccoons, right? That's probably the raccoons. Yeah, yeah, it's the raccoons. Okay. So they wouldn't leave it alone. I made them come in, close the doggy door. I left. I took, walked my daughter to the bus. My husband was still at the house. And about 20 minutes later, I was walking in the neighborhood and he texted me. He says, they weren't raccoons. <laughs> they were skunks. So this is the third time. Um, I am, I've ordered skunk repellent from Amazon, which didn't have great reviews, but whatever. I bought mothballs. If you guys have any skunk tips, they're always getting under our shed. And we have tried to like put um, mesh and stuff under it and they still are getting there. But I will say that this time, third time's a charm, we use the hydrogen peroxide baking soda dish soap concoction. I made my husband, before we let him in, I made him go get all new stuff from the grocery store. He came home and we bathed them and they don't stink well. There's a little bit of stink, but for the most part, it worked. So the last two times I got them wet first, which I think is the problem. So if you have skunks and you have dogs, look it up. That's that baking soda, soap, and um, hydrogen peroxide works really well. Okay, back to your regularly scheduled program. <laughs> um, okay, remember, this is how it was. Nope, this is how it was on our Simply Scored, right? So this is the lid. So what we're gonna do, we have a skinny tab right here. That's where we're gonna put our adhesive on that. So we're gonna cut off these right here. Okay, we don't need those. And I'm cutting this uh, tab at an angle. I can see your alls comments coming through. I'm gonna, I'm gonna read them in a minute. Now down here on the bottom, we're gonna snip, snip, snip. Okay, and then the square tabs, I'm gonna cut off the corners. Now, up here, you can probably kind of see it coming together. Here's the side, we're gonna fold it like this, bottom lid. We need the lid to come down and fold in. So right here, we're gonna cut the, these two, this two, these two sections off. Oh my goodness. I get, my mouth gets so dry during Facebook Live, because I'm not used to talking this much. All right, now, here's the lid. So we need to keep these two squares and this one right here. So all I'm gonna do is cut off that little rectangle. If you come back to make this, go to the clean recording of this on my YouTube channel, because it's probably gonna make more sense there, because I'm not talking about skunks and stuff over there. Okay, now, I always have to think about the flaps. Do we want the flaps attached to the lid or do we want them attached to the box? And I prefer to have them attached to the box. So I'm gonna cut this way and this way. And then I'm gonna cut them in half, okay? And then I'm gonna cut the corners off. So if you are watching the clean recording, you can pause it when I set the paper down, or even I guess if you're watching the recording of this, so that you can see exactly what it looks like. And then you can look at yours and just cut it, all the pieces off to match, okay? I don't know what that is. It looks like white embossing powder or something. Something on there. All right, now I'm gonna use Stamp and Seal. I don't know, I found that Stamp and Seal is really, really strong. Normally I use Tombow but for the sake of the video, we are going to use, look, it looks like a crayon box, doesn't it? It looks just like a little crayon box. All right, now fold these in. You're gonna want the back, fold up the back first, and then fold up the bottom. Well, you put the sides in, then you fold the back first. And then you get your bone folder and you, 
push all that down, okay? And then these go in. Let's put our mints in here. You have to cement under where the skunks are getting in. I had them get in under my house and, oh, and mate. Oh, Peggy. Well, the problem is, is that they're getting in, they're digging wherever we put something. They dig and get in there. We're going to, we're going to, what do you, how do you say it? We're going to, um, re, we're going to make sure the fort is firm this weekend. We're going to get out there and make sure everything is tight. I don't even know how they got in the yard because our yard has mesh wire all around it. I don't even know how they got in the yard unless they climbed a tree and then climbed down the fence. Do they do that? I don't think that skunks do that, but my husband said maybe they did. Okay, back to this. Back to this. We've made our little our little box. And we're gonna put this paper. This is our penguin. Penguin playmates. Penguin. Let me look. I want to give you the right name. Yeah, Penguin Playmates Designer Series Paper. Okay. And then I'm using the pool party ribbon that I have been wanting to use. I love this ribbon. This is from the holiday catalog. And we are going to tie that right there. Penguin Punch is on back order. Has someone already said that? Because I'm sure someone's going to tell me. I know. Like all good things, it's on back order. And it's on back order for a while. But it's not unorderable. And it's not discontinued. Right? So if you haven't gotten the Penguin Punch yet, just know you'll get it. It's coming. We have been told to expect, you know, COVID isn't over. COVID delays are not over, especially over like overseas where all of this stuff comes from. So they're having to shut down warehouses and factories. There there's a shortage on shipping containers. So we just all have to be patient, right? And it's not just stamping out where this stuff is happening. It's everywhere. Um, so just... You know, we've all learned to be patient in the last two years, I think. At least we try to be. <laughs> okay, so now we are going to stamp the swirl, the little swirly swirl, in my craft white on pool party. Okay, get it nice and juicy. And there we go. Let's put our white embossing powder on there. I need my paintbrush. I need to get a paintbrush for here and a paintbrush for where I work because, you know, on the other counter. Because every time I need it, it's in the other place. Let me grab it. If you get the little... You know, like it's where it's not supposed to be. Just get your paintbrush and brush it off. Chrissy, they can climb wire mesh and fences and boards according to Google. Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. That is not fair. I've got to have a, I've got to have some defense. What do they not like? Uh, you know what I read yesterday when I was trying to figure out deterrence is that they don't like dog pee. Well, that's fake news because they like coming into our yard. And let me tell you, there's a lot of that around. So I don't know. I do not know. I don't know. There were, it's weird that there were raccoons in our front yard on the same night we had a skunk under our shed. There was like a party or something, a forest party going on here in our yard. I, I also saw these little things that you can get. <laughs> More cocktails, Patricia. <laughs> yeah. Um, this other thing that you can get, um, well, there's, there were several different versions of like this. You, it's a steak you put in the ground. has like a light on it. And the light comes on whenever the critter comes. And one of them looked like eyes in the night. <laughs> like orange glowing eyes. And I thought, I don't think skunks are that smart that they're going to see these glowing lights and be like, Oh, those are eyes. I, I thought, no, that's not going to work. I mean, and then the, of course the reviews were like, don't waste your money. 
I think I've told you guys this, but um, our neighbor next door, I swear he told my husband at one point that they had skunks living under their deck. And then he laughed like, ha ha ha, we have skunks. I swear he told me, I told my husband that. My husband doesn't remember. And then this week my husband asked him and he said, we used to have them come around, but we haven't, we haven't had them in a long time. I'm like, oh. he never goes in his backyard. So I think he probably has the skunk family living under his deck. He needs to get rid of them. Anyhow, what I'm doing here is cutting this <laughs> out with a circle die. It works perfectly. This is not symmetrical, so you can see like it, you know, goes in and out. But the circle that fits the most closely is two and five eighths. Um, motion detector that sprays water. Sandy, do they make that? That would be interesting. I have to figure out how they're getting in the yard, you know, like, and then I'd have to put it, I mean, I guess they're coming, if they can climb all those things, then they are coming from all directions. The sprinkler system. Maybe I should put the sprinkler system on a motion detector. <laughs> Can you imagine? My water bill would be sky high. This is the paper that you get, uh, that you can get for free. I call it the sequin paper. My friend Anne-Marie calls it the disco ball paper. It is unlike our, our other gl glimmer paper that we've had in the past. It's the, the sequins are big and they're adorable. So this paper comes six by six. And if you haven't gotten it, you need to get it. I'm not a huge glitter paper person of course I've used it twice today um but this I really really like you remember when a few years ago we had gold glimmer silver glimmer you know red glimmer we had all these glimmers and I never used them um, but this is different this is really good what's my shed sitting on Joan it's not cement I can't remember but it's not cement they came, it's a tough shed, you know, they come out and they install it. So it has, it has space under it. It has, it, you know, like it's off the ground. And our rabbits used to get in there. So we got rolls of chicken wire and kind of like filled in. But I don't think we have them in all the way around. You know, because my dogs aren't outside at night. So if they would just come and pass through and leave by the time we get up, then that's fine. <laughs> but they, they find the shed and they're like, huh, this is a nice little rest stop here. Let's spend the night. We uh, put the hose on. I never saw him come out. Um, we put the hose and my husband squirted a bunch of soap under there. <laughs> and then by the end of yesterday, when I let the dogs out finally, they went and sniffed and then walked away. So I assumed that he, she, it, they, whatever, we're gone. Um, our raccoons are as big as a bear cub. Stop it, Selena. No, Selena, that's awful. And they birth him under our deck. Ugh, smell. What does this raccoon smell like? Smells with lots of flies. Oh, because they are using it as their bathroom. Uh huh. Disgusting. Ugh, what a pain. Okay. Calypso Coral Heart from the, um, why did I put these on my finger? I don't need them yet. Um, give it a whirl die. That's what those are from. Then we've got to get our little penguin. Here's the paper. The Penguin Playmates paper. It's one of the free choices during celebration. Free with a $50 order. This guy matches right here. The punch. So I always say if you're in a hurry and you don't want to stamp, just punch or cut out the shapes that match the dies. Stamp sentiment, boom, you're done. No coloring involved. And it probably looks better than the job that I could do on it. So he's real cute. I love him. Okay, so we're going to do that, but we need to first get our sentiment. And I feel like this piece is a little bit too big. So I might need to cut it down. <laughs> Denise. Yes, um, Denise... I'm moving to Denise's neighborhood at some point, whenever our house gets done. Um, but she lives in a, a neighborhood that backs up to a state park. So I'm sure that it's just beginning when we move out there. I've heard of like 
mountain lions and all kinds of crazy things over there. It's kind of scary. Okay, now, I guess it could be worse. My in-laws had a dog. They, they really like live way out in the country. They have a dog or, well, he never came back, but, <laughs> and he was old, but he got porcupined, you know, like attacked by a porcupine or basically he attacked porcupine something like 148 times. I mean, they took him to the vet like every other week. Can you imagine? And, and he would get out and be gone and they, you know, I, I, I can't even imagine how much it cost. It was a ton of times. I can't remember how many, but a lot. And that you can't, you can't clean with hydrogen peroxide and baking soda. <laughs> it, he, oh, awful. All right, so may the sparkle of the season warm your heart and home. And then we'll put this little guy right here. He's so cute. You know, I feel like maybe this needs to go a little bit higher right there. I chose Calypso Coral because that's the color in the paper. Um, the the orange e color, orangey color in that paper is Calypso Coral. And then I cut out a snowflake with our So Many Snowflake dies, and we'll put it right there. Isn't it cute? And then all we have to do is put it right here. I'm gonna kind of sandwich that ribbon and done. That's a pretty easy project. You're only stamping the sentiment. You could whip those out pretty quick, I think, if you needed to make a bunch. Um, you know, for your mail lady. Boy, my mail lady worked her tail off last week for my BOGO sale. She came every single day last week and picked up tons of packages, and they were all different. So, you know, usually when I ship out a class, they're all the same, so it's easier for her. But this time, she worked her tail off. So I left her a little treat every single day. I'm sure it, she was probably like, yeah, quit calling me. <laughs> I'd rather not have a treat and have to not come and pick up all your packages. No, she's really sweet. Okay, we made it. We're done. Sparkle of the season. What do you guys think about this bundle? Do you like it? Gosh, that's just so fun. I love that card. Um, remember to go over to my blog. Now, Monday, I've got a project. This one doesn't have a video. Um, but look, I made a back-to-school um, wreath with the books from... Oh, and I can't remember the stamp set. The details will be on my blog on Monday. Um, no video, but um, it's pretty easy. What I did is I stamped the books in each of the colors, and then I cut them all apart and put them back together like a puzzle with the different colors. Um, and then it's the wreath and then a black piece of cardstock with some white ink on it. When I, my kids were young, I would like, I like to send cards at the beginning of the year that would say Happy New Year because it's a new school year. And I never really sent happy new year cards so I could use it for back to school. But anyway, that's coming on Monday. You can see, you'll see that on my blog on Monday. Okay. So make sure you get the PDF. Um, all the stuff, all the info host code. If you want the make and takes these three, um, make sure your order is it Monday by midnight, $35 minimum, but I would bump it to 50 so you can get something free, two things free, the PDF from me and the free celebration item from Stampin' Up. And there's the host code. If your order is more than $150, don't use the host code because you'll get Stampin' Rewards and I'd rather you get the Stampin' Rewards. But I will also send you the make and takes if your order is over $150 and you didn't use the host code, okay? Okay, you guys, have a great weekend. Um, I try to check my email on Sundays, but I don't know this weekend if I'm going to get to it. So be patient if you reach out to me. Um, it may take me a couple days, but I will get back to you. Let's see what else was I going to tell you. Don't forget, Club Create deadline is Tuesday. And I guess that's it. You guys have a great weekend. Um, this was fun today. Oh, well, look, it's 3.15. I lied. I got to talking about the skunks and I just got carried away. <laughs> you guys, happy Labor Day and I will see you next Friday. All right. Bye guys.